Hey everybody, it's your host, Vinyl Man Jeff, Unlikely Places Pop and Rock Radio. But wait, I'm not doing a recording of a radio show. I'm playing Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, on Thursday nights, I want to try something different, maybe spend some time with you guys. I'm not sure if we're going to live stream just yet. We'll just do it recorded, post it on a Thursday night. I'll record it on a Thursday, post it on a Thursday, or post it on a Friday morning. Try to kind of line up or pre-record them and then, you know, set them out like a radio show. I want to try something different. I'm home a lot, and I enjoy playing Magic, and... Hey, who knows? You know, people make a career out of this, don't they? But I want to tell some stories, share some stuff, and I just want to get into this. So we're going to start playing Magic. Just be warned, I do have ADHD, so I am all over the place. But you're here for some fun. You're here for some fun. So I made this deck for Alchemy uh, on Magic Arena. Uh, ooh, ooh, Alchemy. It's a scary word. But uh, here today to try something different, just to see if it brings spark to the channel and brings some more views to our podcast. We're going to tell the history of how the podcast became today. Actually, that's my goal today, to really kind of share that, uh, how the podcast kind of became the podcast that you know today on Luckily Places Pop and Rock Radio with great guests coming up. We'll even, uh, we'll even tell you what guests are coming up too. give you guys a reason to listen to the, the stories here. We're going to keep these cards. So I am actually playing live, uh, playing as I record. Uh, this isn't live recording, but you get what I'm saying. And I did a full on 40 minute recording. Uh, and the mic, uh, was too, too distorted. So I was like, ah, cause it's my first time using the Yeti as a boom mic. So I was like, oh no. And I was just yelling and I was just like, oh, this is terrible. And I don't want to post anything bad quality up on the YouTube channel. I want to do, do justice. So, uh, after going to GameStop today where I want to say something about that customer service seems to be getting better in my area today. I don't know. It just seems like everywhere we went, maybe it's just my luck. Maybe I've just been having a bad week and just the universe is giving me good customer service. Who knows? When I went into GameStop today where I went, I want to thank that guy. He got me all hooked up with a nice webcam all set and he was like, yo, we have a clearance. We can get you this Logitech for like 60. I said, if I had the money, I'd buy it. And I'm liking this webcam. This is pretty good with the ring light and everything. If it doesn't fail on me, I'm going to be very happy. It's got a light built in and everything. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's good. I don't know what brand it is because I'm I'm bad at all this stuff. I'm not a computer guy. Our editor Mason is. He's a very good at all this stuff, and he knows how to keep the YouTube algorithm moving as well. Excuse me as I gag on my dinner. Uh, <laughs> which isn't anybody in particular. It's the food I eat. But, uh... No, nah, Mason, Mason, Mason is a great editor. Thank you, Mason. And thank uh, Owen Radford, our thumbnail guy, for uh, setting us up. He'll be, uh, he'll be uh, doing maybe some of these thumbnails for, for these game nights. Who knows? Uh, we'll try it out. This first one's not going to have a thumbnail. It's just going to have a, maybe a picture of me, uh, some random picture of me and being like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet. All right, we're going to sacrifice ourselves because I want the life gain real quick. I want to get the 21 health. Oh, he's not letting me. He's not letting me. I got it anyway because that's right. Life gain works that way too, folks. Uh, but yeah, let's let's talk about the radio show and how I got here. So, going way back, uh, when I was in high school. Yes, I'm 23, so it's not that long ago. But I started wanting to get into radio. Now, now I gotta say this as a preface: the first thing I really wanted to do was become a marine biologist. That's right, I wanted to be Steven Hillenburg. I wanted to become a marine biologist to make a very nice best-selling cartoon called SpongeBob SquarePants. But no, 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 I uh, I always wanted to be a marine biologist. But to be honest, I'm not book smart. I'm more like kind of social smart and, and even then I fail at social skills, but I'm still socially smart when it comes to these things. Oh, they talking, they're talking in the game and it's distracting me, but uh, no. Um, so <clears throat> as we get to kind of doing that kind of stuff, excuse me, as I coughed, uh, oh, how, how gross of me to do that. I became really interested in radio because I got lucky enough to go visit a radio station, uh, the River 105 at the time in Connecticut, uh, David Fish, who uh, was really known for 104.1, but he always switches. Now he's on 102.9. That's just radio for you. They keep switching the hosts around, but uh, Fish is one of my all-time favorites. Thank you for that tour that day. It really meant a lot, and he's been following me on Facebook and seeing how I'm doing, and he's so excited to see where my career is going, and I'm excited, you know? All right, we're definitely going to go there. We'll do that. So... Oh, did that do? Oh, it does things. It does things. It's a trick, man. It does things. All right, now. So after doing the tour of the, the building and getting to kind of see the radio, which they didn't offer to a lot of people, so I was very excited to be able to do that. Uh, I did not get a job there or anything. It was just a high school thing. I also got to go see, uh, let me not forget this. Let me not forget this. I got to see Lurch from 1029 and got to hang with him, and that got really into radio. So now I got S Scott. Uh, A.K. Lurch, got David Fish. I'm meeting all these radio hosts. I met Mike Lapatino, who's one of my all-time favorites. So if you know Connecticut, this is all for you. If you don't know Connecticut, look these guys up. I think they have some like videos and stuff. You can hear their voices. Just really good radio hosts. Kind of inspired me majorly. So yeah, now my career path has changed. 
And I got lucky enough to be involved with a band that I don't really want to speak about, but I remember fondly as good memories for myself. I'm just going to move past that. If you know, you know. If you don't, I just don't feel like talking about it. I don't like talking about negative. And even if it's not negative anymore, I just move him past it, move him past it. So that does link to a why this show happened, though. So I might have to mention it later on just because it is important to the story. But I don't want to get into details. Well, my first guest was really great and at the time. But things have changed. Life changes. I don't know why people don't teach that. They, everybody wants to shut you down for you know things. But you got to learn that life changes. It, it changes quickly. It, it really does. Anyway, we're lucky enough to be able to do these shows and be able to talk about this kind of stuff. So moving on from that, our show just started growing. I got to meet my co-host, Tyler Green, who I wish the best of right now. We're on creative differences. And I do hope that one day we will be able to talk again. And, and maybe I'm not going to say do a show together. I'm not going to say do anything together. But just be on good terms, be able to say hi. And, and I hope hope one day because I, I do in my heart hope that he's he's uh, doing better and, and doing really well. And, I, and I've changed. I've come to learn about myself. And I do omit for faults in the past and want to apologize for those right here, right now. Uh, just to kind of put those things aside because moving forward is the best way to go. But sometimes you got to just let things stay in the past. Sometimes it's good to say, hey, I now look at it at a different lens and I apologize. But be the bigger man. Be the bigger man. You know? But no, this is all good, man. It all happened for a reason. Things happen. They happen. Uh, Jeb and Green started growing. Uh, originally, it was called Alternative Dudes. Let's not forget about that. Uh, I, I want to tell a funny story about that. So it's going to get a little little uh, 18 plus here for a second. Not because of the podcast. This is where you're going to laugh. So we did this podcast called Alternative Dudes. I then applied to a Christian radio station because at the time I was going to church and I just wanted a job at a radio station. I didn't care where I was going. And I applied with Alternative Dudes podcast, not thinking of anything. And then I finally like Google searched us. And the first result was uh, was was corn with a P, you know, and I'm like, yeah, no wonder why I didn't get hired at the radio station. So great. We changed our name immediately. So then we became Jeb and Greencast, which should have been that way from the beginning. Um, I mean, hey, it's Jeb and Tyler Green. So we became that. <laughs> it was a really weird name stage. We had 10 episodes under the name Alternative Dudes. And my best friend and co-owner of RoboJack Records, Owen Radford, was the last episode we did, um, which was our first time ever talking together and because we met on Instagram. So he now is our thumbnail guy. That's the thumbnail guy from Unlikely Places and our YouTube channel and everything that we do. Um, this guy is tough to beat. Damn. I picked a really bad game to play while talking about stories that are a lot of details. Oh man, this guy's got a good deck. I'm about to look this up. Well, like I said, I'm new to I'm new to Magic. I, I I've played in person a lot, but Arena, I'm not I'm not that good. I've been on Arena for a while though. I got as you can see, I got profile picks and I, I have bought the season, you know, the passes. So anyway, it's Thursday night. I'm gonna play some magic. Back to the radio story. <laughs> so I'm gonna concede on this guy because I just don't feel myself winning. And I wanna tell the story. So Basically, we go from being just the two of us, and we get, like, really good guests. I mean, I got to interview, because of that show, Frank Zappa's sister, Patrice. We had Eric Dover of uh, Jellyfish uh, slashes Snake Pit. A lot of good guests. And that was the one that hit big. That almost hit 1,000 views. That was, like, my biggest viewed video. It was, like, 775 for that channel. Well, Tyler couldn't make that one, and I felt really bad because Tyler's a bigger Jellyfish fan than I was. But, hey, I respect Eric, and Eric Dover is a good friend. Hi, Eric. If you ever watch this, thank you. Thank you so much for all that you've done for the show. Uh, and then it led to Licorice Quartet with Roger Joseph Manning Jr. from Jellyfish and Tim uh, as well, Tim Smith. So it was just such a, such an amazing experience. That was one of our last episodes. That Actually, that was the last episode Tyler and I ever did together because I then, Tyler started a new podcast, moved forward, which, hey, great, great. You found your 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 niche and you kept with it. I really had respect for that. Um, you know, at the time, I was young and I was just like, ah, why aren't you helping me, you know? But as you, you get older, you know, hey, I've left shows. I've left shows um, because I just wasn't feeling that I was belonged. And, and that's life. That's life. So we moved on, we moved forward, and uh, here's for ADHD again, we're gonna start playing again. <laughs> so we moved forward, and we kind of got into going with uh, just me doing the shows all of a sudden, and we, that, that was uh, Rob Lane of Straight to Video, who now sponsors RoboJack Records, which is the company I own, with Owen Radford, David Scaff, my manager in music, and uh, Josh Bradley, a good friend of ours as well, which is awesome to have, and I'm going to see Josh in a couple days down in Florida. This wouldn't be possible unless, you know, RoboJack actually formed and we became really close friends, and it's just been life-changing. But that's another story for another time. This is about unlikely places. So that all ties in, though. It all, it all, it all will make sense in the future <clears throat> oh i shouldn't have summoned that now yep 
because this is the repetitive card. Uh, this is what happens when you try to tell a story. Because now it's just going to do this repetitive card nonsense because I can't do anything with it. That was a terrible move. Oh, well. I'm even going to say it. Oops. So we moved on. Uh, I got all these guests. Some of the best guests were, like I said, Patrice Dappa, uh, Eric Dover, Licorice Quartet, uh, Pete Donnelly the Figs. We had uh, Frankie Vinci, a photo maker, one of my favorite 70s bands. You know, bands before I was even born coming on the show. And it just kept leading, 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 leading. And uh, one of the best moments we ever had, and this is really tough for me to talk about, but I'm going to say it. Uh, Matt Harris of the Posies, Oranger, and more. Matt was a great guy and became really close friends with me. We, I remember vividly calling before the show for about an hour, talking with him. He also played Rocky Erickson, Rocky Erickson, Rocky, Rocky. I can't. I think it's Rocky. Um, but I love, I love all that psych stuff. That's the the thirteenth uh, floor elevators for those that don't know. I just remember knowing Matt really well, and and sadly Matt has passed. Um, and it was really sad when I got the news because we were actually really close, and uh, that was something that. I knew why I do this podcast at that exact moment, because <clears throat> at that exact moment, I realized there was comments below saying, thank you for doing this interview. Uh, I haven't heard Matt's voice since a long time ago. And it's just nice to you know have that, have that, those things. And, and after reading that, I wanted to keep doing the podcast. So after Tyler and I split up, we uh, kind of went our own ways. I was trying to do YouTube. I was trying to do all this stuff, stuff that wasn't what I'm doing now. And I still was playing music. I write write songs. And if you don't know my music, uh, jebsmusic.bandcamp.com, link below. Uh, you could check out my music. Uh, this will lead in. The story is going to get to where I'm getting here. It's actually why we have the theme song that we have is because of my music, because I, I wrote that song with Frankie uh, Zaragusa from the Posies as well. And the original name of the show, this is why I said in the beginning that it all ties into this without mentioning any names, because if you don't mention names, you're fine with telling a story, as long as it's factual and not, you know, opinionated. Um, <clears throat> and even then, it's a little blurred in lines there oh uh, man i'm gonna have to do this because he's gonna he's gonna go for that one but i gotta get some hits in oh he didn't i'm surprised oh it had summoning sickness maybe that's why he couldn't block i forget i forget <clears throat> so we just you know moving on to the show and, and doing what we're doing and we took a break and i started doing like i said other things and uh the radio started calling me so when isolated dude came out this is where I, it actually was the next part of the story i'm thinking it's further along the story but it's not isolated dude came out and I started charting on the radio. I started hitting uh, like number one and number seven, number four, number three, you know, all on these charts. Uh, thank you, Jim's, James Jim Prell of Music Authority for charting us. Thank you. Really, really, really was the big push for me to kind of do radio because seeing those charts was made me want to do radio even more because now bands are getting charted in a whole nother state they might not have ever been to and it's it blew me through the roof and there's a reason why i went back to i quit charting for a little bit and went back as you guys if you follow the show you know there's a reason why i came back i remembered that story and i said yeah well i did the song with frankie sergio from the posies and he's also his own thing now he has since left the posies um for those that don't know the situation you can look into it it's it's wherever i'm just don't want to talk about it so i'm moving on um but the posies were a big part of the show unlikely places was originally the last thing the posies recorded it was an intro for the show and it was based off their song unlikely places now it has changed to just being unlikely places its own thing um our theme song is now isolated do which it worked out for good because that's my song that's something i did and enjoy making with frankie so there's always that hey this is frankie saragusa and you're listening to unlikely places we left that in uh but there's so much more uh you know that it hurt you know as a young kid as a this is this is that stupid story where people say you know be careful when you meet your idols i i say screw that story Pe human beings are human beings no matter what fame level they are so to be honest don't don't be afraid to meet your idols just know that it might not go the way you planned it that's the best way to put it i hate when people do that like well, i don't meet your idols well then nobody's ever gonna move in life and the best thing i've ever done was met my idols on facebook and on all these things I, I network i network i network and i dropped out of college where i learned how to network to network you know so let me just hit the mute button real quick right on my cough so you know we come back and we're, and we're doing all this stuff and i'm just so excited to to be doing this it's it's such an honor and fun and we don't get paid here we're starting to we're starting to get paid we're, we're actually sponsored now non non-paid sponsor i'll make that very clear uh by the heroes journal and and, and such an honor I, I really like their product you can use code unlikely places 10 <laughs> selling out of the story already uh you can get 10 percent off uh buying one of those journals and they have card decks it's really cool we'll get into that in another video maybe i'll do my own video for it but you know we just 
really, 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 we're getting into this radio thing again. And this is me by myself at this point. So isolated dude, we sent it to the station in the UK. By the way, this is Mad Wasp Radio. So if you don't know, I'm a big part of Mad Wasp Radio. That's that's uh, that's me. I'm on Mad Wasp Radio. No, I'm not. I'm not the owners. That's D and uh, David. Great people. And just a cool station. I've always enjoyed working with them. And we're going to get rid of that. So, you know, that kind of thing. And they said, we're looking for hosts after I submitted the song. And I asked. And, well, 63 episodes later, almost 60, almost 63. I'll be 63 next week. That's that's over a year. I'm still on there. I'm still, you know, recording a weekly show that goes to the UK. We chart now because remember I said I, I quit a charter for a little bit, but I'm back on charting again. Happy to be charting. So much fun. And our charts are blowing up, which is cool. I feel like it's a lot of bots. It's, it's whatever, though. Uh, no, I don't want to replace. Um... I'm not paying attention to be honest. I'm loving telling these stories, but I like to play magic too. This is why I don't play magic in most in person anymore, because I just talk and they're all like, shut up. Well, that's why I do it at home. I do it at home. So back to the story. So basically we went from being, you know, just on Mixcloud, just posting the shows, to actually being a full-fledged podcast. Now, remember, this is just a radio show. This is playing music. This is what I do every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, 6 p.m. GMT. Uh, time changed this coming Friday, so tomorrow when the show airs at 1 p.m. I'll try to upload this video tonight, but most likely when the show airs at 1 p.m. Uh, tomorrow, you won't see it because it's going to be 2 p.m. There's a time difference. If this video doesn't air, then ignore it. Next week is going to be 1 p.m. anyway, uh, back to our normal schedule because we finally fall back here in the state. So, oh man, I could do this. I could do this. I can get rid of that. Yeah, I finally used this card. But, uh, oh, it didn't do it. Oh, it worked. It worked. It worked. It cleared his field. All right. I almost was like really upset about that. Um, yeah, I'm the worst magic player, <laughs> but I get excited over stupid little things. It's awesome. So, Mad Wasp Radio, thank you so much for taking me in because I am a rambling fool. I am 23, just being me, and I rhymed there. Because I'm not a tree. But, <laughs> um, you know, so we start keep going. And then all of a sudden we're like, uh, somebody said you should bring the podcast back. I don't know who. It might have been my manager. might have been David. might have been Dave. Uh, credit to Dave Scaff just because, hey, give him credit anyway. Um, it was somebody. Somebody said bring the show back. It could have been Owen Radford. It could have been Owen. He's been with me forever, writing music with me, doing all this stuff, doing the thumbnails. It could have been Owen that said, you got to bring it back. I've been listening. to. It was probably Owen. Credit to Owen. Owen, I'm sorry. It's probably you. You're going to watch this video and be like, Jeb, Jeb, I quit. I quit. You didn't mention me. Uh, but we also do a podcast, too, called Don't Jeb and Drive. So don't, 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 uh, don't Jeb and Drive ever. That's not, it's totally not a reference to this, but, you know, don't Jeb and Drive, please. Uh, begging you. Um, so, yeah, we're getting, we're getting there. We're getting to the story. We're almost getting there. So we start the podcast up again. Our first guest is the legendary John Povey from the Pretty Things. What a kickstart episode. What a band that I loved since I was a kid. My dad got me into them, of course, because I'm not old enough to be around when they first came out. Um, again, mentioning I'm 23 for a reason. I had to shave so people realized I am 23, you know? I'm trying the beard oil. Uh, shout out to Ferocious Beard. It's actually kind of working. Shit, shit's actually working. So check them out. Uh, that metal guy on uh, got me hooked up with them. He's a good friend of mine. I don't know his uh, numbers, and he's going to kill me. I think it's that metal guy 1983, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, he's going to kill me. He's going to watch this video and be like, dude, I, I got you this beard oil, man. Why are you not getting me out? And that's not even what he sounds like. I'm terrible. I'm a terrible person. So, <laughs> so we're, we're back to the show, right? We, we're, we're done yelling sponsorships and companies out. Uh, RoboJackRecords.com, everybody. Uh, anyway, so John Povey, then we get Wally Waller, and then we get all these other guests coming in. Jim Bassnight, who will be up on a future show of the episode. Anyway, and we're getting Pete Donnelly, you know, getting him back on. He was on Jeb and Green. We're getting some of the back guests back on. All of a sudden, this just keeps building and building and building, and I quit because <laughs> it's too much. I couldn't take the pressure of... Uh, Having to record these episodes, then having to edit, and I stopped doing the podcast for a bit, said I'm done doing it. All of a sudden, I started getting an editor. Uh, Matthew Graham, I want to thank you for being the first editor with us. Uh, he is now just focused on the RoboCheck Music Hour, which I uh, will be leaving that show uh, pretty soon. But the show is still going to happen. I'm going to support it financially, do everything I can. I just don't have time. Uh, it's a great show. Uh, Owen Radford and, and Dave and, and Josh are going to run it really well, and I'm excited to see where it goes. I still want the show to happen. I just don't have time to host. Uh, but it's uh, thank you, Matthew Graham, for taking on that responsibility for that show. So he left for that show. And he was going to do Unlikely Places, too. And uh you know, this guy's gonna win. Congrats, Lion Guy. Lion Guy. 
So anyway, we, we pick up with a new editor, Mason Scan. That's not his real last name, but that's the name I'm going to use. Now, Mason's in a band called Cat Scan. We interviewed Cat Scan on All Likely Places. One of the most recent episodes that just came out. Well, lo and behold, these episodes have been stockpiled for a very long time. The newest episode I have recorded is not even close to being out. It won't be out till December. We are such on a backlog trying to post all these things. So I want to thank Mason, um, you know, for, for helping us get on a schedule. We're on a schedule every Friday. You're going to get these magic videos on Thursday uh, because I can just sit here and tell a story and play magic, which terribly, but that's not the point. I'm telling stories, getting them out, and you're enjoying having footage in the background and going, Jeb, can you please hit the button i want to see the game not you talking but that's not the point the footage is just there to be there i probably should record the footage ahead of time and then just talk over it which i could totally do but it's much easier just talking and playing at the same time right totally so <clears throat> mason comes on board and he's in and uh, he's the reason why i'm trying something different playing some magic and, and you guys can see my microphone and my new setup and it's like just to try to get some new audiences in and uh Hopefully it'll be for the good because you guys will check the podcast out too and we'll bring a, yard, a younger audience to this page because we're going to have Tommy James the Shondells. I want to have a younger audience knowing who he is. But also we're going to have All-American Rejects. Younger guys know them, right? Uh, we're going to have Nick coming up, uh, Nick Wheeler. So Tommy James, Nick Wheeler. I'm reading Tommy James's book right now. I'm actually going to grab that and show you guys. The book is awesome. Let me, uh, let me grab that. Yes, he's walking away during the video. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's walking away, Mom. Mom, our YouTube guy is gone. All right, I am back. I am I am not insane, I swear. Uh, but yeah, Tommy James's book is amazing, guys. Really, really uh, answers a lot of questions about what people are wondering. And yeah, totally have a Pokemon card as a bookmark because I am still a kid at heart. Come on. Speaking of Pokemon, who's getting Violet? Who's getting Scarlet? Comment down below. I'm going to get Violet. I was going to get the double pack, but I have no money. That's why I went to GameStop, actually, and then I got a webcam instead of... Uh, Saving up for the game. I just pre moved my pre-order over. And now I'm... I don't know. I'm, I'm a crazy guy. So... So yeah, uh, you know, Tommy James coming on the show. We're going to make that a two-parter. It's going to be so cool. I said I was going to talk about new guests coming on. Uh, Steve Longo is in our list. He's the drummer for John Entwistle. He already came on. He's recorded. We got Jeff Cotton coming up. A lot of good guests coming. Uh, Jim Terrell from RoboJack Records, one of my good friends. And, uh, you know, just life, man. One of these stories is going to be like how RoboJack was formed, too. But we'll keep that. This is just unlikely places. And uh, we're playing magic and, and, and telling some good stories. So hopefully everybody's Thursday night is going good. It's usually a tough one, you know. Weeks get crazy and life becomes very different, very different. Life was uh, different in 2019. Speaking of which, I got a brand new song out today, Parachute. Check out Parachute, backed with We All Got Bikes, No Cars. Brand new song uh, made by me. And the A side is Parachute. I co-wrote that with Emily Ewing from England, which is such a fun experience. I'll share that in another story as well. But the radio show, we're happy to be here. Very happy to be here. And the untold story of Unlikely Places has now been told. Honored to be able to share that with you guys tonight. But uh, so else, I just want to get stuff out there. I want to show my face because I'm young. I want to get that face out there. I started losing weight. Not as big anymore. I have lost 20 pounds, which I'm going to keep on this diet. It's actually working. Uh, 12 pounds in the first week. It was, like, really cool. I went to a doctor because I've been dealing with a lot of weight issues due to psych meds and everything. And I'm finally off everything. Just really, really working on myself. Oh, what did I just... Oh, he was telling me to pick. Oops. So I just started really working on myself. And, uh... Really, I'm, I'm good. I, I mean, I'm still a little hyper, which that's just me. I, I hate when people try to like take that away from you. It's just who I am. Um, don't recommend the way I did things. Don't really fully recommend it, but I'm lucky to be alive. But I'm happy in a way better place. I've got vitamins I'm taking every day and, and exercising. And, and I, you have to be active. You have to be really caring about your health. I journal every day with the Heroes Journal. As mentioned before, they do sponsor the show. I wanted to get one so bad, so I, I messaged out saying I could sponsor you guys for a journal and review it. Uh, just because I really wanted one really bad. So I'm doing them justice. 10% off discount code. I'll have a link in the description below. Unlikely Places 10 uh, is the discount code for you guys to use for 10% off, guys. They have these uh, deck of cards I really, really like, and I want to review this product if I get a chance, or I'll buy them myself. Um, they have these cards. They're called side quests. Basically, it's like a, a to-do list of when you don't have a thing that you don't know what you ought to do today and you really want to go do something, but you're kind of, I have nothing to do today, and you want to keep that spirit of doing something. You can shuffle these cards, pick one, and you got a side quest to get done, like a video game. It's just really cool. So, you know, it's a lot of fun. So, you, know, you ever get stuck on a saying... 
I have two really bad habits. I have two really obnoxious habits, and I'm going to talk about them. <laughs> so, after interviewing Thomas Ian Nichols, which will be coming to YouTube soon, but it is out on Anchor, link below. Everything I mentioned will be linked below. Um, he, he sent me one time, he sent me a smiley face in text, and I have never been able to let go of that habit after he sent it to me, because he's such a nice guy and such an amazing experience to be able to talk with him. But, uh... I was so worried about that episode because I got a little manic with that episode because I was so excited to talk to him. And then I was giddy on the mic and I was just like, I lost it. But he's such a nice guy, very, uh, very patient and, and super, super nice guy. And because of him, I got to talk. I'm going to be talking with Nicholas Wheeler of American Rejects. And I'm also going to be meeting all American Rejects in Florida. Like, holy, holy moly, everything's just really going its way. Thank you, Josh, for being able to house me uh, when this all going down. Originally, we're just going to Disney. Now, all of a sudden, we're seeing all American Rejects. It's going to be awesome. So... Really excited for that trip. Going on my first plane trip. Really, really excited for that. So, really gonna... Really, 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 really. It's spelling like the Spice Girls over here now. Uh, I got to meet uh, Jarrett really briefly from Bowling for Soup. That was an awesome experience. And just such a great, great group of people. Jarrett, come on the show. Rob, come on the show, please. Love to have you guys. We'll get you one day. We'll get you. If you want to come on, of course. And if any of you guys out there play Magic and are in a band or any of that and want to be interviewed, let's do it. If you just play Magic, I don't know. I'll play you. I'll play you. I don't know if I can interview you, though. i got to have some kind of music knowledge. And our show isn't hard to get in the submissions list. Really, it's just have releases online. Have a story that I could pull questions from. If you if you just started as a musician, I'm gonna say no because I need I need a story. You know, I need something to share. But we don't just do musicians. We're gonna have a psychic come on the show uh, pretty soon. I'm really excited about that. Nick Grossman coming. Uh, we're also gonna have Kiss's costume designer, uh, Rebecca Servan. I'm I think that's how you say your name. I'm sorry if I didn't say it right. Uh, but she designed costumes for Kiss and many many other bands, and and she's just freaking awesome. Like I'm so excited to be interviewing different. It's still music related. Oh, we had Thomas on. He's an actor. That's American. American Pie and Rookie of the Year, so that was something different, but he's also a musician, so, you know, it's the way it goes, but I want to try to get, like, more more to the, the podcast, so I think I'm going to do this format on Thursday nights to update you guys, it won't be every Thursday, I, I don't know if I can keep up with it, but if I feel like talking, I'll do it, alright, this is the Decade, so that's going to die anyway after it hits me, so I'm just going to let it hit me. And it can go bye bye. Bye bye. But uh, yeah, life's been great. I'm very grateful and humble. And thank you. Thank you for everybody that supports us. Thank you, our sponsors, everybody that supports RoboJack Records. Like, as mentioned, that'll be a separate story because that's just a long story. Um, just something that I just would have to dedicate a whole episode to, which every YouTuber's like, I'll tell you the story in another episode. Stay tuned. Uh, I like doing the Kermit voice. My Discord, <laughs> I used to go on Discord and go on servers and do the Kermit voice as I play guitar. And oh, man. So. Maybe I'll play a song at the end of the show. Who knows? Who knows, guys? I'm loving this boom mic, this setup I have. I've had this stand for such a long time. I've had this stand. It has literally been tied to my Shure microphone. That's how I record my songs. Did not know the Yeti could, like, screw into this stand for the longest time. I would have had way more fun having this mic in front of me. I feel more confident with the mic in front of me. I don't know if it's just like a... I don't know. It's just my life is getting better, and I have things to actually talk about and that are exciting and not just depressing. And I wish everybody out there, if you're struggling, you'll find the light. It, it will come. It's just you're not seeing it right now. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I was uh, I was very suicidal growing up, but way better now. And just so happy to be here. So happy to be doing what I'm doing. Very, very grateful for all these opportunities. I mean, Tommy James of the Shondells coming on the show. I showed you his book. Seriously, guys, read it if you get a chance. If you, you don't even if you don't even know him, it's just a great story to inspire you in whatever line of work you do. You don't have to read a musician's story and go, "Why am I reading this?" Because I'm not a musician. It might inspire you in your day to day job, getting up in the morning. It might inspire you in other ways. So seriously, check his book out. Um, thank you, thank you, Carol, for sending me all this stuff. Uh, Tommy's manager. Oh, it's just been so great. Thank you, thank you. Honored, honored, honored to be doing this, and uh, wow! Thank you guys for tuning in to this this show. I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on magic. I'm gonna show you what I can do in magic. Uh, so I built this deck. Um, let's see what we could do here. So that's a decay. We're gonna go with this. Oh, that's not gonna work. Shoot! All right, we're gonna no box. It might be too late to try to gather the game, but never say that in Magic. Uh, I used to play Magic in person, too, so that's why I'm playing Magic. Actually, my mat for my computer, you can't see it, uh, but it's actually a play mat for cards. So, I've retired it. I since use a different mat now when I'm in 
public. I gotta get my driver's license. I could go play magic on a Friday night. It's so much fun. All right, we're gonna hit with this attacker in the air. Get him down there. <clears throat> I'm gonna move this card over to the flyer, and then uh, his turn. So, so hopefully we make it here. Hopefully we make it. Come on, come on. But uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just happy I got this new webcam, man. It's awesome. There we go. I just straightened it a little bit. You guys are like, oh, now he's finally not crooked anymore. <laughs> Been crooked the whole video, but that's all right. That's all right. I'm crooked in real life. Totally, totally. <laughs> that's terrible. <sighs> I'm a good person, I swear. That's not every good person's like, I'm a good person. R slash nice guy. But uh, seriously, seriously, a lot of fun. Oh, there's more to me than just the podcast. That's why I'm doing this. Oh, will this be a trade off? This will just be a trade off. I could block that. That's going to kill me. That's going to hit me, but that's going to die anyway. So I'm just going to let that die. I'm only really worried about my flyer. And it's only going to have flying because it's the Coven. Oh, it's only going to have flying with three different levels of uh, power. Oh, shoot. All right, I'll see if this portable hole does anything. So I can get rid of I'm going to get rid of that. Getting rid of that. Bye-bye. Um, I'm going to go for it. Ooh, ooh, that might, the training. I, I, I'm so new to the new Dominaria set. Actually, when I first quit Magic in person, it was originally Dominaria that I have, Dominaria, that I have all the, like, kind of stuff. On the, my back of my wall, I have, like, a, the bundle box fat pack uh, thing. And I just released a rap called Fat Pack. Check that out. RXX Pleb. RXX Pleb is my rap career. Vinyl Man Jeb is all my music, my radio, all that. Well, it's just Jeb. But Vinyl Man Jeb is what I put the brand under. So, is he let me attack him? Yo, wait. Did I just win? <coughs> Let's see here. Oh, no, he's down to one health. Okay, that makes more sense. I was going to say. Oh, which leaves me open to take two, four. Yeah, he just won. Good game, man. Good game. Uh, yeah, that was great. So. Yeah. I was, see, I, I, don't, I don't get mad when I lose. I don't, I don't get mad. I just get really high-pitched. I don't get mad. I enjoy magic. I just enjoy talking. <laughs> I enjoy talking. So, guys, thank you for joining the video uh, for today. My gift to you is to to play you a song at the end. Because you guys are going to want a song. So, I'll play you one of my new songs. Uh, it's not, it's, it's new, but it's not. Well, maybe I should play Isolated Do. No, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play Isolated Do for you guys. So, let me just pop the screen a little bigger. I'm going to pop my webcam here. I'm going to silence the background music so you won't hear that. You shouldn't hear it. We'll just mute that in case you do. And uh, as you see, I'm adjusting the video as we do this. Never do this, kids. Never adjust your YouTube video while you're doing it. You might have risks. Camera's over there, so I'll look in the camera when I sing. I'm looking over here because this is where the computer is. Computer's right here for editing. Right. Right there. So. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me get a song for you. see if I had if I had some edits which we do have an editor but he's working hard on doing the unlikely places podcast so yes this will be on the unlikely places channel but uh this is uh this is separate this is my own doing this is my own failure and demise as uh so I realize I just broke the tuner these tuners suck I'll tell you something about snark these things break on me all the freaking time and I don't even do anything. I'm going to have to glue that down now. Now I can't even tune the guitar. So, Snark, fix your tuners. Like, I didn't even drop that. That didn't even fall. Like, easy there, people. So I'm going to have to just tape that down or glue it, because that's a really good tuner. Ah, uh, it's a chargeable one, too. I hate it. All right. So, going on a trip soon. Let's, let's have positive messages. Let's play some isolated do for you. So you can barely see the guitar, but it is here. Not showing the chords on purpose, maybe, right? So here's isolated do. As it's untuned and in raw glory. This is the show's theme song. Aloha. This is Jeff Cott. <laughs> Everything's all around Well, the leaves been 
falling on the ground No one around to take it in Oh, take it in, take it in Oh, you know, oh, you know Oh, yes Oh, take it in Oh, well We'll all make it through by the end of the day Fine, we'll figure it out some way Some way, some way, some way Away, away from here, my dear But we'll all shave our heads Just to make sense of those beds we've been laying in Ah, laying in, laying in you know life is more, you know space is more than an illusion up there You know if we in the same far If a Mars is here to stay in We're staying into laying Laying into staying a Laying into staying bed We'll all make it through By the end of the day Fine, we'll figure it out some way Some way Oh, some way some way away, away from here again. Say, so, yeah, well, it's past the time it's supposed to be. Cause I remember the best song to me was Apology on Dear 23. Clats you on the radio, not pretending to be the Beatles, you know it's true. Does anyone know Clats you? Well, we'll all make it through. By the end of the day, I'll find we'll figure it out some way, some way. Oh yeah, some way, some way, away, 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 away. You're tuned into Mad Wasp Radio, and this is your host, Final Man Jeb of Unlikely Places. Oh, that's Dwayne Betts, by the way. Dwayne Betts does a ha woo at the end. That's uh, a personal jingle he sent me. That was awesome. Uh, he was a great interview too. Got to meet him. Oh, it's just so many good memories. Uh, freaking Joey Molland of Badfingers on the show, and I'm in a Badfinger tribute band, so good memories. This is isolated too. I hope you enjoy it. Still have to do the bridge. Let's do the bridge. Take it to the Matthews Bridge, right? Limp Biscuit style. Same thing. It don't matter. Learn a new skill. Get up that ladder. Well, I'll do the same thing, you know, it really don't matter Learn a new skill, get up that ladder Oh, 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 oh You'll find your way someday again You'll find your way someday again Find your day some way Thank you guys for tuning in this week to whatever this is. If we do another one, oh, that'd be great. Magic night, music night, we do it all the same. Everything will be fun. I gotta go uh, glue that freaking tuner and not let my dad know because he uh, supports the music so much, but he always been buying me snark tuners. I don't know, man, they, this, this plastic, I didn't even drop it. It didn't even fall. That's That's the worst part. So if I just glue this... If I glue it right here, it'll never be able to move, but at least it's glued. And these things charge from the head anyway, so I don't have to worry about it. These are just, you know, bases. So we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, thank you guys so much. Next time I see you for the radio show, it'll be my AI on the radio show next week. Uh, hello, this is your host, Vinyl Man Je Jeb. <laughs> I don't know. Like I got Tourette's or something. I don't want to do that either. But, uh, man, we're going to have so much fun. Uh, everybody, thank you for supporting the show for so long. Honored, honored, really, thank you. This is this is a lot that I've been through, and this show has saved my life, and you guys too. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Peace out.